at the annual clinical congress of the American College of Surgeons, session moderator Dr. Lee Newmeyer highlighted some of the hot topics in general surgery. This is always exciting for us to see these papers come through because appendicitis is such a common disease and surgeons are faced with these decisions on a daily basis. So I wanted to review a couple of things. First of all, it's very interesting that we have four papers in this session on appendicitis when in fact the topic of the month for the evidence-based reviews in surgery is appendicitis and the treatment uh, looking at um, patients undergoing appendectomy versus using antibiotics. In fact, one of the papers presented in this session is on uh, patients who were um, given just antibiotics and then followed up long term. And as was found in the EBRS article, the patients actually in general do well with that, but there is, has been a big discussion on the listserv uh, as to whether or not this represents real practice for surgeons. Many surgeons have discussed on the listserv that their experience is, is that while it's all fine and good to temporize the patient with antibiotics that they usually end up coming back at some point needing their appendix out. That being said, that's anecdotal data and yet when you do it in a, in a more uh, well-designed fashion. It's not a randomized trial, but we do find in most series and in a couple of randomized trials that the success rate of treating appendicitis with antibiotics may be as high as 85%, so that's pretty good. One of the other papers I found was really intriguing was uh, the intra-abdominal in irrigation increases the risk of post-operative abscess in patients with appendicitis in both laparoscopic and open appendectomies. Now to me as a general surgeon who's trained, trained many years ago, this is very counterintuitive. I uh, was brought up with the uh, phrase, a, a solution to pollution is dilution. And the more you irrigated, the better. There used to be a contest among our residents as far as how many liters of fluid they irrigated a contaminated abdomen with. But it's interesting because they found in this retrospective study that um, the post-operative abscesses all occurred in patients who got irrigated afterwards. So it sounds like maybe the body's doing a good job on its, on its own in, in uh, um, corralling those um, bacteria and preventing abscesses if we just don't disperse it among, amount, out amongst the abdomen. This is probably ripe for a clinical trial at this point. It would do really well for a randomized trial. It would be very easy, I think, to get patients into it. Um, the rates of post-operative abscess aren't that high, that, so that will create a problem because you'll have to have a lot of patients in the trial. For IMMD Medical Media, I'm Heidi Sweet.